a market to market to buy a fat pig. Well, actually, in this market, there are no pigs, and it is not part of a nursery rhyme. It's the Waterloo Plain Market, and I'm just sort of meandering through it. And as I do that, I can't help but notice there's an awful lot of stuff to be bought and sold. And if you think about stuff, try and imagine this, supposing, just suppose, that all the other animals on the planet decided they needed stuff and they started making all these shops and factories and everything for their stuff. There would just be madness, <laughs> you know, stuff that we would be finished in, in, a, in a few years. Anyway, um, I don't know where that came from, uh, from stuff. So enough about that, because the fact is I really love markets and one of the reasons, or m perhaps the main reason I love markets, is that they are so random. I mean, the stalls are all arranged and uh, uh, planned out, but what is sold and the way it's presented is incredibly free. And that's something that I, I feel it, it's, I remember as a kid, I used to go to the cattle market and with my mum, and it was, everything was different. Every time you went there, it was all, always completely different. Even if the store was the same, somehow the things there were just different. So that was this, uh, that I think that generated this mad love of markets. Oh yeah, here, um, uh, this one, this uh, kiosk here that sells lumpias, I like it because of the way it's painted, just the blue and red, very graphic, but very strong, you know, without doing too much, so that's, that's a nice one. Okay, let's go around the back, uh, or sort of along the side, wait for him to go, okay, bicycles there on the right, um, bags, do you need bags? If you need bags, this is the place to come and get your bags, trust me even though I've never bought a bag from there. There you can also see some shoes. Um, okay, I'm not going to go left. I'm going to head straight to this little gap, which should bring us towards the back of the uh, uh, market. And I, it's not the back that I want to show you. If you just wait a couple of seconds, just a sec. Okay, so the steps going down, it's just really the view that on the one side, or behind us now, we have the noise and bustle of the market. And in front of us, you have this sort of wide open view. And this kind of situation, I think, is really typical of Amsterdam. You come out of this uh, very dense street, and it all opens up into water. So now on that note, as this man here on his boat does some kind of reversing, I am going to say bye for now and let you um, enjoy the scenery. <laughs>